just like that. Now let's do the same with the second one. Now the reason I'm doing this is, sim is simply to show you you can do it. So if your clips have a bit more movement than mine do, because because for mine I am just sat there, just not really moving around much. This was this was deliberate, but if you want, you can do it where you have a bit more movement. And the way you do that is you is you you is you can use the track the path tracking, or you can simply. Uh, move it along and use the keyframes to keep it where it is, to keep it on your subject that you want to clone. So now the reason I'm doing this is because I feel that the burger cushion is being a little bit squashed, uh, or it's being stretched out between the two clips because it might have slightly moved while I was readjusting. Uh, so that should solve it. Nope. Here we go again. Again, this is all simply just trial and error. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm perfectly happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it out and see what happens. So I will get back to you as soon as it is finished. And here we are. So let's see how this all looks. Okay, yes, so that is all, so that looks great to me. Now, what I might end up doing is doing some color correction on it for the final one, but that is essentially how you clone yourself in Premiere Pro by using the masking tool in opacity. So I hope this was useful to you in any way, shape or form. And I look forward to making more videos for you like this in the future. And if you do like these kind of videos, give the channel some love. Also give my personal channel some love, no ticket films. And yes, that is me done for the day. So until the next time, my friends, farewell.